Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Seek and Destroy. And today we're going to talk about some rumors and information and news and stuff that have been coming out about the new Blade movie, which apparently is in a little bit of a, a limbo state uh, right now. I guess they're bringing on a new writer and they're also, uh, you know, they got the original director has left the project and is still staying on as a, a producer, but, uh, but I think just in name only probably. But again, I don't know all the details. Most people don't know all the details, but, uh, and I don't really comment on rumors and things like that, but I am very interested in this. Actually, this is that one movie they announced back when they first started talking about phase four that I got really excited for. <laughs> like, I'm such a Blade fan. I love the character. I love the original three movies. Uh, the third one, kind of meh, um, out of, you know, it's my least favorite of all three of them. But there's a lot of fun stuff in it as well, particularly Ryan Reynolds uh, in it is really great. Um, and also Jessica Biel. And uh, and I thought that they were starting to build the, the Midnight Suns and, the, you know, that kind of type of team where Blade could roll around with other supernatural hunters and, and take down vampires and stuff. And there was, there was threads of it back then, you know, and I still really to this day would still love a Midnight Suns with Blade and Ghost Rider. Um, and, uh, maybe throw Dr. Strange in there. I know there's other people that like different iterations that have like Moon Knight and, and stuff like that. I'd be fine with any incarnation of Midnight Suns. In fact, there's actually a new Midnight Suns comic book out there right now that has Wolverine and magic, um, and uh, spirit rider and stuff on the team. So uh, when issue two or three comes out, I'll probably do like a group review, but uh, I am reading this series. I just want to give it a, you know, check it out because Ethan Sachs, who wrote it, I kind of like some of his previous work. So I wanted to give it a shot and it's okay so far, but I'll save my full review for, you know, when it comes out, it's like when the issue two and three come out, maybe I'll do, like I said, a, a, that way I could talk longer and, you know, dive into it, sink my, sink my teeth into it, if you will. Um, but also a big shout out to Coliseum of Comics who hooked me up with the poster for the new comic book because I'm such a big fan of these characters and I'm really excited for the new game coming out and I will definitely be live streaming that on my Twitch channel when it comes out. But yeah, the Midnight Suns poster which uh, I will frame soon and hang up probably on this wall over here with some of my Moon Knight stuff. Uh, so yeah, and as you can see, I did some rearranging. Well, I didn't, um, but yeah, the apartment has been rearranged and it looks great, I feel. So hopefully you like the new background. Um, so with this Blade movie, we have uh, Mahershala Ali, who is the star of the film, who is an amazing actor. There have been a lot of reports coming out of people saying that um, he's apparently has been quoted at saying that he's frustrated with this process of the filmmaking uh, for Blade. Uh, apparently the script, like the rumor of it was that it was gonna be Blade raising like a young vampire girl and training her to be like his replacement one day or something or something like that. It's like Blade near the kind of the end of his career. He's already been hunting vampires for like a hundred years and it's supposed to show him through the ages of the Marvel Universe through the hundred years. I don't know if that's the actual story, if that was real or not. It's just, this is just stuff that I've seen online that's being reported. But now they're bringing in a new writer, someone who was working on, uh, I think, Bo DeMeo, who wrote um, on the Moon Knight show, apparently is being talked about now coming in to rewrite the script completely, and that the film may get delayed to, to 2023, and that they're going to be looking for a new director as well. And, uh, and you know, all to kind of... I guess, calm down their star, who apparently is frustrated. Again, who knows if that's true or not, but also, can you blame them? You know, you have a script that sounds pretty bad anyway, <laughs> like Blade. It's it's our first movie with Blade, and he's already the withered older guy who's raising, you know, his replacement. It, it's just kind of like, oh man, like, can we get some Blade first before? It's kind of like making a Flash movie and the first movie being about Flashpoint. It's kind of like, hey, why don't you slow down and, and actually, you know, build the character a little bit before you get to stuff like that. Um, yeah, as you can tell, I'm not very excited for the new Flash movie. And uh, so anyway, but Blade, um, I was very much excited for this, but then the more stuff that's coming out, uh, I'm, I don't know, I'm, I'm worried. <laughs> like, I really, I really want the supernatural stuff. Like Werewolf by Night's coming out next week and I'm still excited for that. Actually, I didn't even know that was really happening until we saw the trailer and then I was blown away by the trailer. So um, I'm into that kind of take on horror for the Marvel Universe, but I'm sure Blade was going to be something completely different and not really in keeping with like a 1930s horror movie. Um, but still, you know, he, he was supposed to show up in Eternals 
and he didn't because they couldn't agree on a look for the character of Blade. So at the end of the movie, when uh, Black Knight is getting his sword, apparently that's Blade that comes in. Probably the worst cameo and end credit scene in in the Marvel Universe, in my opinion, because at least other bad end credit scenes that there have been, they've at least had the actors in them. This one didn't. It just had his voice. And we had to go online and find out that it was Blade later. We didn't even know in, you know, in the theater or wherever you saw it that it was actually Blade. You had to find out later. So, uh, so that was awful. And then apparently Blade was supposed to maybe make a cameo in Werewolf by Night. And they couldn't figure out how to make that happen either. So this is not a good uh, look for this movie. Which is a shame because Blade is very direct. You, I feel like the more you think about Blade... Um, the less he works. And I'm not trying to say he's not a clever or interesting character. He's all of those things, actually, in my opinion. But if you start to just overthink the concept, I feel like you're going to end up in a place where you're not really making a Blade story. And and that's what I'm kind of worried about with this movie. So it sounds like they're now going, okay, well, we, we couldn't get this version to work. Now we're going to do this new version and we're going to bring in a new director. Hopefully soon they'll, they'll announce who the new director is. And apparently we're going to get a script revision. The only downside here is I see people first off when rumors are starting to be spread around now, I've noticed a word popping up a lot reportedly uh, blade filming reportedly delayed to 2023 Marvel's blade uh, star Mahersha Ali reportedly very frustrated with the process i'm starting to see this word pop up i feel like it's one of those words where these people who say they have connections but don't have connections it's their way of getting around lying they could say oh well reportedly this happened maybe it's because they saw it on another website a website that doesn't vet their sources or doesn't cover you know don't have actual you know real information when they get leaks they just are throwing darts at a dartboard of what lie to make up every day and hope. And then, of course, some of them will probably stick because how could you not guess a few things right after you guess every single hour of every single day? So if a website like that posts something, then you could say, oh, well, reportedly so and so is not happy with the process of the filmmaking because this website reported on it. So now you're stating a fact, even though you're just, you know, spreading more potentially more bullcrap. So I've noticed that, and that's another reason why I wanted to make this video. So keep an eye out when you're seeing news for Venom 2 or Venom 3 and, and all the other stuff we cover on this channel, the Blade movie, other stuff, Ghost Rider, if they ever get around to doing more Ghost Rider stuff, um, look out for that word reportedly. <laughs> it just pops up everywhere now. Um, and I think it's a lot of way, it's a way for a lot of these guys to um, cover their be, you know backs uh, in case someone calls them out on their bullcrap. They could say, hey, I just said reportedly. I mean, come on. So uh, anyway, so I, I am worried a little bit about Blade. And I know some people will be like, oh, but they're bringing in a new director and they're going to bring in a new writer. Yeah, but the apparently the writer, I don't know if this is true or not, but uh, Bo DeMeo, who is being reported that he's coming in to rewrite the script. Um, yeah, he worked on Moon Knight, but he wrote the worst episode, in my opinion, of Moon Knight, which was episode three. Uh, that is my least favorite episode of that show completely could have just taken like three scenes from that whole show and and then just squeezed them into episode two and four um that to me was just a it was supposed to be the episode where you really sink into mark and it didn't really do a good job at that for me i feel like uh so to me he bo de Mayo wrote the worst episode of moon knight and so that does not fill me with joy. If the writers of episode five of Moon Knight were rewriting Blade, I might get excited because episode five of Moon Knight Asylum is arguably the best episode of that show next to Jeremy Slater's first episode. And the uh, I think there was Jeremy Slater and a couple other writers on the final episode. To me, episodes one, five, and six are the strongest. And if you got any one of them to rewrite Blade, I'd be excited. But the fact that you got a guy who wrote my least favorite episode does not fill me with joy. <laughs> and then also you have, um, you know, a new director they're apparently going to be s uh, searching for now. So or they're, they're currently searching for. So this all just, I wanted to bring all this and put it all in one video, get all my thoughts out there because I am excited for Blade and I was more excited. Now I'm starting to, 
you know, feel this, and this is not good, especially for Marvel, who has been a really well-oiled machine, you know, and ha but they've had some missteps, you know, there's some things, and of course, it's going to change for all of us. Some of you may think some of their missteps is something, it may be something I like, and there may be stuff I like that you feel are missteps and, and you, know, you know, all that. So I understand it's different for everybody, but, um, and I've seen them pull together stuff, uh, you know, that, that was kind of falling apart and they've pulled it together and, and stuck the landing. So I hope they do a blade. Um, but the new writer doesn't fill me with excitement. And the fact that they had a writer and a director on this and they couldn't make blade work. It just makes me really <laughs> worried about either what they're a trying to do with blade or B um, maybe what those that writer and director were trying to do and they were screwing it up and maybe this is a, ultimately a good thing that a new director is coming in but i just hope they announce someone soon and someone that will make me more excited for this project because so far the writer uh sorry bo de mayo i'm sure you're you're a talented guy on some level and probably wrote other good things that i haven't seen but as far as moon knight goes uh the third episode is my least favorite by like a long shot i mean it's like episodes five and then one and then six and then four maybe and then two is like a drop down and then one is way down so yeah i don't know i, I i'm sorry three three is way down sorry third episode way down so for for blade um I, I just wanted to get this out there get my thoughts out there because i am keeping an eye on this movie i'm not going to cover it the way i cover venom and all that stuff but i am just as excited i was just as excited for blade when they announced it as I was for Venom with Tom Hardy, you know, it's like, I think they, they got a great actor to play Blade, and I'm very, I was very pumped for this, but now I'm like middle, so it depends on who they announce to be the director to see if my excitement level comes back up, and I hope they do soon, but apparently the movie now may get delayed, uh, so, and this was supposed to literally start filming in like a couple weeks, uh, Blade was, so the fact that it's it got that close and there, and there's so much problems on it that they have to push it back is is uh not a good thing um so yeah let me know your thoughts down below i'll try to put a link or two to some of these articles that are reporting on this i'll put it down below um again i don't know how much of this i can really take 100 percent for sure but the facts are that uh the director did leave the project and that um apparently new writers are coming in and if one of them is Bo de mayo i'm not very excited um, so I hope they announce an exciting director, um, you know, to, to kind of balance that news out. Um, and then I hope they, you know, come out and say like, like a proper statement regarding this, um, and, and about its delay and stuff. I mean, they may not Disney and Marvel are kind of like that. If something doesn't go their way, they're like, eh, we'll go off, we'll make it. And we'll, everyone will go see it in a the theater most likely. And I, I probably will, but it's going to, my excitement level is going to depend on who they announce as the director. So is there anyone out there you'd like to see direct this? I'll be honest with you. I'm a big fan of Antoine Fuqua. I love the Equalizer movies. I love a lot of his stuff. Um, and I would love to see someone like him direct Blade uh, because I think he's very, he's kind of like a Steve Norrington who directed the first Blade. Like he can um, do these really fun, intimate scenes between characters um, whether it's uh, dramatic or tension building or even funny. Um, but he's also really great at directing action and, and works with a great uh, second unit team and, and, and uh, people that have worked along his side for years. So my ha I, for me, I would throw Antoine Fuqua in. Uh, you know, I don't know if he would want to do it, but um, you know, I, I think he would be fantastic at directing something like Blade. And plus, he's a, he's a by-the-books guy. He, you know, he knows what the job is. He shows up. He gets it done. I think that's someone you need. You need someone who has a visual style, but not something that's really intense. Someone who will, you know, go by the, the rule booklet for the most part, get your project done and get it done under budget and on time, but also, uh, you know, get it done to where it's pretty badass and fun to watch too. So that's my vote. If you have a different vote for a different director, let me know down below and we'll continue the conversation as always down there. And also let me know your thoughts on all this. Does this make you less excited? You know, are you kind of in the middle like I am now? Whatever it is, let me know down below. And as always, we'll keep talking down there. Thanks so much. See you in the future. Peace.